So in our last video, we created the first part of our app, which is the part that when someone opens up the app for the first time, they are able to enter their thought for the day. So this is the UI that we're creating for that. What we now want to do is just add some content in that shows what a thought looks like when it's already been saved. So just for the purposes of the UI at a later stage, what it will look like and use this as a reference point. So I'm going to go ahead and copy out this date by same thing, command C and command B. And I'm going to use this as a starting point. So this we'll say is Sunday, the 24th of November. We'll align it as best we can with the one already above. And we just want to pull in some text. Um, I am just going to use some text that I'm going to copy from my wireframe stuff. Okay, so I've gone ahead and typed out some text. The right hand side is probably a little bit too close to the right hand side of the of the canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull that in slightly so that it makes more comfortable reading. The next thing I want to do is signify that again, we have a picture being pulled in. So I'm going to just use a simple oval. Again, we could copy and paste the one out that we have above, but as it's a wireframe, it doesn't matter if it's completely the same size right now. So I'm just going to position that where I roughly want that picture to be pulled in. So what we now have is a wireframe that shows exactly all the elements within our UI design that's going to come later, the full UI design. We're actually positioning for user experience. So we're looking at whether the icons are in a good place, not looking at what the icons are, but whether everything on that page makes good UI sense rather than whether it makes good graphical sense right now. So I'm going to create a wireframe for the second page, which is quite similar to this first one. So I'm going to save myself some work and go ahead and duplicate this page. I'm going to click up here, which is where the pages are stored. I'm going to right click this section and I'm going to hit duplicate. What that does is just create an exact document of the previous one. I'm going to label this page two. And I'm going to use this as a basis for our second wireframe. The second wireframe is very similar, but without this top section being dropped down already. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some of these elements. I'm just hitting delete on all of these, as you've probably guessed. I want to pull that up and I want to make that our action. So I'm going to just say uh, record your thoughts for today. I'm going to line that up roughly and I'm going to make it a slightly greyed out colour so that it's it's an easy thing for people to see all the time but that doesn't make it super over the top in terms of you're going to see this as an action every day you're going to know what to do eventually but for first users logging in we kind of want to give them a hint as to what to do when they log in. On that same thought process I'm going to just remove this save button because there's nothing to save right now in this in this wireframe. I'm going to use another shape. I'm going to use a rounded rectangle this time. I'm actually going to create a button. Um, you do this just by dragging out onto the canvas and it automatically creates the, the rounded rectangle for you. If you hit the rounded rectangle in this top right hand corner, you can change the radius size. So you'll see that the radius of this button changes depending on what you select here. I just want to, in this digital wireframe, I just want to make sure that it's roughly the right size, which to my eye it seems that it is, but we'll check that again in the next section. I want to have an icon on top of it. Again, I'm going to signify this with a, with a small circle. I'm not going to get too bogged down in specifics as to what that icon is right now. I'm going to go ahead and just roughly position that in the center just to depict that there is an icon there. I'm then going to create the next section of, of content. So all of these following on from this section, which is what we press, and then it drops down into the actions, which is the previous wireframe. I then just want to show some content on what that looks like. So I'm just going to separate that with a simple line, as we did in the previous video. I'm going to go ahead and bump this content. All I did there was just drag over everything that I wanted to move 
and move that whole section up, which is what I really like about this app. So you don't have to select layers specifically like you do in Photoshop. So I'm just going to go ahead and roughly position that there. I'm going to copy and paste that line and bring that down to roughly where I want that content to be. And I'm going to go ahead and drag a line around all of the content and I'm going to copy and paste that out again and drop that below. So all I'm doing here is just showing what multiple content and the spacing of multiple content looks like on this wireframe. I'm going to go ahead and do that a third time and drop that below the existing content. Now you can change these labels if you wanted to just so that it doesn't all look the same. I'm going to go ahead and leave that for the moment because all I'm doing is looking at whether the content looks good to me. That looks fine. Doesn't seem to be many other changes need to be done for this specific digital wireframe. It looks okay to present to someone. It looks nice and neat. You can go ahead and I would normally go ahead and wireframe every single interaction within the app. For the purposes of this, it's up to you whether you want to do that as practice. But for now, I'm going to leave the digital wireframe there. We've got two pages which roughly show exactly where everything within our app is going to sit and the interactions within that. And that's good enough for us to then use for our high fidelity UI.